Okay, so we're going from Madden right now. There's a blog. There is an NBA 2K blog right here. A new era of authenticity arrives in next gen. So basically, current gen is going to be the exact same game. Um, okay, this one is interesting. This one is going to be really, really interesting because there is now a blog. There is now a blog. So that's going to be absolutely massive, lads. Like, I actually am looking forward to this. So, what's the difference? If you ever managed, imagined, Jesus, struggling to speak right here, um, hitting the practice, uh, that's essentially a difference between MoCap. MoCap has uh, excelled at getting NBA 2 get points, bringing players closer. We'll continue to point out pro play swaps the unnatural technology for peak performance. So basically, it's at real mocap. So when you're getting, when players are getting mocapped, they used to come in and like take the piss, and it wasn't quite, quite uh, like uh, as accurate as it could have, as it could have been. But it seems like now with this, is it's going to be a way more accurate version of mocap. Okay, so that kind of makes that makes perfect sense. Um, okay, cool. New animations. Every aspect, powered by pro play, jump shots, dunk, jump move, pass animations. Primary actions benefit. Um, while the primary actions certainly benefit from ultra realistic tech, they aren't the only most casual inbound passes and otherwise unremarkable motions that aren't priority have been scanned. Oh, cool! So players aren't just gonna like hand the ball to your opponent from inbound passes. Okay, I actually, you know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? That makes perfect sense. That like there are certain things that the players aren't really going to care about while they're being mocapped. Okay, that makes sense. I'm going to say that right now. Like, that makes perfect, perfect sense. Um, Shot timing. Players who play on Hall of Fame difficulty or in the Wrecking City will be playing green or miss time for the ultimate challenge. But team control base most. Thank you! 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 No green or miss! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! You guys did it, 2K. I didn't think you were gonna do it. You did it. Green or miss is gone. Spam them W's in chat. Spam them W's in chat, lads. Green or miss is gone. It is gone. The worst thing they ever brought into my team is gone. Oh my god. Thank you, 2K. You absolute legends. You absolute legends. You got rid of it. You got rid of green or miss. Thank you. It doesn't matter about the 10 shot timings. Green or miss is gone. Oh my god. Shot timing release settings. Something very new settings called shot timing visual cue. It's going to be the same thing with a different name. Instead of time based based on a certain point in animations, a jump shot, a set point, a set release. Easier to play with players and teams you're not familiar with. Literally the exact same as early late. They're just renaming it. Early was, or very early was a certain cue. Very early was like a cue on the wrist. Um, late was at the end of the wrist flick. And very late was something that was like, Oh my god. I can I'm happy about that. That's all I care about. L for park or wreck. What about you mean green or misses in there in park and wreck? Layup timing will now be on by default and it's redesigned to be much more forgiving. Cool. This is good. This is good. As long as layup timing is for at the case is a situation where you stop missing open lips. That's the problem with layup timing is you missed open lips. But you can, okay. Floaters, reverse, scoops are more effective this year and great tools have the slasher. I'll believe it when I see it. I will believe it when I see it. I'm just saying, I'll believe that when I see it. I'm not going to believe that until I, I see it in game. They say it is every year. I'm not going to believe it when I see it. Oh, or sorry, I will believe it when I see it. Um, 
This is the worst name ever. NBA 24, all dev diary dribbling, NA 135. What's this video actually called? Okay, now it's called, they changed its name to an actual thing. NBA 2K24 dribbling. Shooting has been customized and improved for all various modes, difficulties and player skill levels. But in order to get high percentage shots, you need to know how to create separation off the dribble. One of my favorite okay. elements in NBA 2K24 is the dribble breakdowns. Each player has two versions. Regular breakdowns are done by flicking up on the right analog stick, and aggressive breakdowns are done by flicking up with sprint held. This will initiate a sequence of signature size up moves that you can use to create separation with on their own, okay. or branch out of at any time for an explosive drive or other dribble move combo. This year features all new signature double crosses, hezi crosses, and escape moves. Another major addition is the blowout dribble. Tapping the sprint trigger while moving will give you a quick burst of speed where the ball handler pushes the ball ahead to get out quickly on the break. Oh In no. the front court, tapping sprint will give you a quick change. Oh no, tapping sprint. There's gonna be a, fr there's gonna be some sort of speed glitch, isn't there? There's gonna be a damn speed glitch. There, it's gonna be a speed glitch. Quick burst of speed where the ball handler pushes the ball ahead to get out quickly on the break. In the front court, tapping sprint will give you a quick change of pace to quickly blow by defenders. Adrenaline boosts are back, but have been redesigned to make both offense and defense more skill-based. On offense, boosts are no longer lost when pulling off dribble combos or moving short distances. This gives dribblers much more freedom to create off the bounce. I like but that. boosts will disappear every time the on-ball defender can bump the ball handler on a drive attempt. Losing adrenaline won't feel like moving in mud. Like Oh, thank you. That is so much better. So basically, if somebody plays good defense on you, if you're like a lock, so for everybody that's complaining that it'll allow people to cheese, if you're a lock and you're able to get bump animations, they'll lose their adrenaline. If you, they're not just gonna lose their adrenaline on nothing. Okay, I like that. Last year, but it will heavily impact shooting attributes. So if a good defender can bump the dribbler two or three times in a single possession, they'll have- Okay, so basically adrenaline is like short-term stamina. So you can lose like, your, get your stamina down. If you bump adrenaline, it used to play the effect of stamina without affecting the long-term stamina of a player and affecting other aspects and affecting like future offenses. Okay, cool. I like that. I actually like that. That sounds really good. I have a really tough time scoring if they do manage to get free. Creating your own shot off the dribble isn't the only way to get good shots. Knowing how to operate away from the ball is just as important. NBA 2K24 features new right analog stick jukes and other quick explosive moves oh, cool. to free yourself up for a shot. I like that. Tapping the sprint trigger will also give you a huge burst of speed to find open spots on the floor for spot up jumpers. So tapping the sprint trigger is gonna be like an actual like skill gap. Like it's gonna be a lot of tapping the sprint trigger for like short sprints rather than say holding it in previous years. I kinda like that. For easy rim runs for dunks. Everything about offense, defense, and coaching has been streamlined to make NBA 2K24 more enjoyable for all. We can't wait for you to experience the ultra-realistic gameplay in NBA 2K. Nothing I've heard is bad. So, pain play. Bigs are going to have a lot more fun. You know, branch out of an offensive rebound into a putback attempt by pressing the shoot button after a catch. Could you not already do that? You not already do that. Post fades are effective shots for post players. Strength and weight can definitely be felt. They say this every year. They say this every year. I don't think it makes a difference in my team. But weight could be a big factor. Weight could be like the factor in my team. Okay, I, I kind of like this. I kind of like what I've heard. Skill-based defense, I'll believe it when I see it. I'll believe it when I see it, but... Let's watch this. Defensive movement has improved on many fronts with better responsiveness and less sliding. This helps defenders get where they need to be and with the improved body up system, ball handlers will have a tough time getting free against great defenders. The improved contact can also be felt in the paint. Big defensive anchors will have a much easier time putting a body on shooters at the rim and forcing tough shots. Directional steals are also back. You need to reach with the correct hand closest to the ball and avoid reaching across the body to maximize success and avoid But like, that didn't do anything last year. Players still just kept reaching with the wrong hand. The improved contact can also be felt in the paint. Big defensive anchors will have a much easier time putting a body on shooters at the rim and forcing okay. tough shots. Cool. Directional steals are also back. You need to reach with the correct hand 
closest to the ball and avoid reaching across the body to maximize success and avoid foul calls. You can also use directional steals to play passing lanes by flicking the right stick in the correct direction to get your hand in the way and deflect the pass. And when it comes to contesting shots, it's important to be patient and wait for the correct time to jump. If you're behind the shooter, jumping too early, biting on fakes, or closing out late, you'll quickly find yourself racking up fouls and giving up. As long as it doesn't have BS with three-point fouls, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with more fouls in the paint. As long as, you know what, maybe not, to be honest. Up and one opportunities. This doesn't sound, it sounds like it could be bad. Everything about all They've literally said there's gonna be more fouls. I think it's gonna be bad. Everything about offense, defense, and coaching has been streamlined to make NBA 2K24 more enjoyable for all. We can't wait for you to experience the ultra-realistic gameplay in NBA 2K24. See, that doesn't sound good. Like, that doesn't sound good. Um, system address the ghost contest issues, okay. If you're behind a shooter jumping too early, you're racking up fouls, that's not... That's, that's not, it doesn't sound great, is it? What does coaching mean? Okay, I, I don't really care about the ACE, to be honest. Um, okay, they've added new freelancers, I guess. Okay, something. Like, I love how they say to further enhance the comp player's arsenal. Realistically, comp players are, let's go five out. It's always in five out. Oh, you can stop your players doing, making dumb cuts. Oh my God. Oh my God, that's huge. That's huge. Oh my God. And no, by the way, anyone saying, um, auto cut to the basket. If you guys don't know, players auto cut to the basket right now. That's what they do. Players swing defenders so that players cut randomly. You can basically make your players stand still. <laughs> I cannot believe it's 2024 and we're celebrating the fact we can make our players stand still. Um, this was just an ACE freelance. Um, I cannot believe it, like. Oh my God. We're getting a setting to stop, to make our players stand still. Oh my God. Like, that is huge. I cannot, again, I cannot believe it that we're celebrating the fact that there is going to be a setting in the game to stop our play, to make our players stand still. Our players are going to stand still. I cannot believe it. Take over. Takeover returns to NBA 2K24, but with a different spin. Instead of assigning a takeover ability as part of the build process, now you can choose a category of attributes to boost on the fly. When you fill up the takeover meter, you can choose So just everyone in my team boost three pointer. <laughs> between finishing, shooting, playmaking, defense rebounding, or physicals. If you delay your takeover and fill up double takeover, you can choose two different categories of ratings to boost, making you a true threat on both ends of the floor. Ooh. Everything about offense, defense, and coaching has been streamlined to make NBA 2K24 more enjoyable for all. We can't wait for you to experience the ultra- See, I don't know about that. I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one. That one might be iffy. 2K Smart Play is back, making play calling more accessible for everybody. As you bring the ball up court, an overlay will come up recommending the best play and player for that possession. Tap L1 or the left bumper before crossing half court to run it. And to call your favorite plays, press the directional pad to the left and choose from up to 16 of your preferred actions. You can call anything from full plays to ISOs and give and goes. 
Everything about offense, defense, and coaching has been streamlined to make NBA 2K... He said that three times now. Look, it looks, sounds good. It sounds good. I actually think the pro play could screw us in my team. It could really screw us. But look, it sounds good. It sounds good. It all sounds good. Oh, I cannot believe. So, yeah, it's it looks good, man. It looks good. It all looks good. 